switching gears big time now. You've all heard about the end of the world in 2012. But could it be much, much sooner? Well, there's a whole lot of talk going all around the solar system that certain things we've seen recently should be taken as signs of something big being right around the corner. From the devastating earthquake in Japan to massive flooding in the U.S., the likes of which we've never seen, tornadoes, volcanoes, all kinds of natural disasters. And now, we're expecting a comet, Comet Yellen in. We'll be coming close to Earth, relatively speaking, in just a few short months, expected here on October 16th of this year. responsible for the safety and well-being of people not only here on earth but uh, off this planet think about the the natural disasters that could occur in your area think about attacks that could come like 9-11 from outside forces and talk to your family about your work and what they need to do to prepare for the unforeseen you know know what it is that you're going to do know what it is that you want your family to do if an emergency arises but most of all be prepared. Is either a 5.8, 5.9, or a 6.0 magnitude earthquake. Uh, there, according to the U.S. D.C., okay, this is District of Columbia. Uh, Fire, March of Hurricane Irene tightened its aim on the eastern seaboard, threatening 65 million people along the shore-hugging path from North Carolina to New England. The strongest to strike the East Coast in seven years. You can still see monuments to Vladimir Lenin almost in every Russian town, but uh, things are beginning to change. And from Lenin, they're moving to Alien. Russia's first monument to cosmic visitors has just been unveiled in Perm region. are looking into a very mysterious humming sound and vibrating effect in the border city of Windsor, Ontario that's right across the Detroit River from Detroit. Ontario's Ministry of the Environment has received more than 300 complaints since March about this phenomenon that residents describe as a low-level throbbing hum in the evening. Now, a lot of people around the United States have heard this, too. As a result, the ministry has set up seismic and sound monitors but there hasn't been any official word on just what's been recorded. Since the humming began in March, theories of the source of The components of DNA have now been confirmed to exist in extraterrestrial meteorites. Researchers announced a different <laughs> team of scientists also discovered a number of molecules linked with the vital ancient biological process, adding weight to the idea that the earliest forms of life on Earth may have been made up in part from materials delivered to Earth a planet by from space. A crisis of leadership. We've been talking about this all week. But what if there was some sort of outer space crisis? An alien invasion sounds crazy, perhaps. But then who thought we'd ever see the stock market swing 5% a day all week long? 
So maybe it's not as far-fetched as it sounds. If aliens invaded, who would step up to lead us in that fight, and could we even win? Well, the Kepler satellite currently orbiting in outer space has identified about 50, 50 planets that seem very much Earth-like. In fact, every week, we discover another Jupiter-sized planet in outer space. But a few of them may have intelligent life, perhaps even more advanced than what we have on Earth. Now, so how did this... Uh how does this actually work? When Discovery decided they were going to do a show on alien invasions, your phone rings because you're on the sort of speed dial for theoretical physicists who can help them do the war game for how this might play out? Well, believe it or not, we physicists have actually studied the question of what happens if we do encounter a hostile advanced civilization in space. Either the aliens don't bother with us because we're simply too primitive, or if they do invade, it'll be more like Bambi versus Godzilla. In fact, that they could be a thousand, a million years more advanced than us. However, if, on the other hand, one day they do attack, we have to be prepared for the fact that they're going to overwhelm us in the opening shots of a war. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. A lot of people are concerned about it. Uh, we've done a lot of research on Comet Elenin. And what we found is that there's a lot of missing data on this comet. NASA claims that it's a harmless little fuzzball of ice. Won't come any closer than 22 million miles to Earth. Uh, others are saying that uh, they're getting uh, pictures of it. That it doesn't look like a comet. It doesn't act like a comet. It's coming in from an area that comets don't normally originate from. We have sort of a maelstrom in our galaxy where comets originate. And this one's not coming from that neighborhood. So the, there are a lot of things about this comet that don't make sense. Uh, couple that with the arrival of a very large asteroid. Uh, along around the same time, coming in from a different angle, and the launch of the new emergency alert system on the same day of the arrival of that asteroid. And you have some very strange coincidences that it seems the officials are not being upfront about. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world.